By the way, I'm on Bass Road. It's my type of road. What's going on, guys? The next day, I uh, I got kind of caught up doing stuff yesterday, so I really didn't get to you know, finish the video. But I do want to do something with this video. Like, I'm going to do something different. It's going to be a lot of fishing in this video. Thank God. Because I think I'm going to film something different today. But hold on, let me show you something. Look at all these boxes. Sadly, this is not going to be in this video. It's gonna be in a different video, but I'll make sure I'll make sure everything works. I, I, I'll I'm going to show you guys everything in these boxes. It's just gonna be a different episode. With that being said, I filmed a lot in Savannah. All right, I filmed a lot of just fishing. Honestly, I didn't really film that much. All right, I caught a lot of fish. Probably caught 30 fish in the past like three or four days there in that pond. Um, I got like 10 catches on film. I didn't film too much, so I filmed all that and it's just kind of different days thrown together. So I'm gonna throw those in to this video. Hope you guys enjoy them. We'll play them right now. Today, I'm filming my first fishing video at my house. Very pumped and excited about it. I'm about to go out here, hopefully catch some fish. You know, every day I've been catching fish and haven't really been filming. So today I'm actually gonna take the camera out, take the chest cam out, take the GoPro out, and actually film me fishing today. I think that's gonna go really well. I think, I'm hoping I'll catch a lot of fish. I'm kinda, I kinda already know the pond out on how those fish are sitting, why those fish are sitting there. And I'll kinda go into depth on that as well. Hopefully we'll go out there and whack some fish. I want to tie a drop shot on and also like a moving bait, uh, maybe a chatterbait or a rattle trap. And uh, hopefully we'll go out there and whack some fish. You know, you got a little bit of current today. It's cloudy, um, a little bit of wind. Perfect conditions, perfect. It's not too hot right now. It's feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna tie my poles on right now and we'll get out there. Uh, all right. First, I'm gonna tie on a drop shot. And, oh gosh, just ignore what I have on right now. Just just, just, just ignore it, all right. So I got something at ICAST. And it's a little like night bobber type deal. All right, just, just go with it. I need to go to Walmart and actually pick up some more fishing line. Uh, like light line for my drop shot and also some drop shot weights if they have them I highly doubt they have them but if they do that'd be great because I've been catching a majority of my fish when I mean a majority I mean 90% 95% of my fish out here on a drop shot which doesn't surprise me at all you know drop shots very finesse um, especially when you go out these hot summer days you know you can't really beat a drop shot and I kind of got back into drop shotting and finesse fishing, so, you know, why not do it? I was pretty stubborn for a while, you know, I wasn't really fishing, um, baits, like a drop shot and everything else at all. Um, you know, I got very stubborn, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna power fish. And that is not the mindset to go about it, because, you know, who knows what the conditions are gonna be, you know. Some days you're gonna have to throw stuff like this. And I guarantee you, me picking up a drop shot, me picking up a shaky head, me picking up something slow, is going to lead to me catching more fish. I'll be willing to bet you guys anything that this bait right here is gonna catch more fish out on this pond today than anything I'm gonna throw. I'll, I'll be willing to bet anything. So, like I said, I don't have any drop shot weights. So I'm actually using split shots, which is kind of funny. Um, because I, no, I haven't even used a split shot since I was younger. And I actually had some in my truck, I think one time I went catfishing or something. I don't know, I had some in my truck and Honestly, I gotta make it work. I've been making it work and they've been eating it. Literally, it's just honestly a good way for you. I mean, a lot of people, you know, when they go fishing, they're like, I just wanna, you know, they wanna go the inexpensive route because they're on a budget. Totally get that 100%. Um, 
There's nothing wrong with this, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I could get a drop shot weight and be much better, look better, uh, a little bit of everything, but this whole split shot thing's been working out the past couple of days, and I ain't complaining. Just got the drop shot tied on. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's go ahead and get out here and try to catch some fish. That's a bass. He ain't bad. Little tiny guy, guys. First one of the day. I don't hear a chance right now. Look at that little dog. About like three bites right there. Look at that pretty little fish. Little fat one, dude. Uh oh, that's a big bass. That's a big bass, dude. <gasps> I could tell how he was fighting. He's like three and a half, four pounds. Oh, he ain't that big. He's still big. Get him up here. He's still two and a half pounds. He ate it good too. Look at that, guys. That's, that's pretty fish. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I thought he was bigger for a minute. Pretty fish, guys. Let's get a release on her. Well, just found this. Not the size of my cut that stuff out. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. dude. <laughs> you know how to do this, right? Oh yeah, that's what I do too. Sometimes. Going behind the gills. Go in. Go in behind. No matter, just cut the line. How tiny he is, dude? That's the tiniest one I caught out of here. Dude, look at him bite my finger, man. <laughs> it's gonna be more fish piled up on top of it quickly, but it's not gonna last long. You got him? Ooh, is that a good one? What happened? Or is that a tree? That's a better one. Here we go, guys. A little one on drop shot. It's a lot better. I actually caught him off a little tree. He's pretty thick. Very healthy fish. Hey, come cast, come cast over here. Dude, he made me, woo! Dude, you tapped it. You talk about tapping it, dude. He about slapped it and tapped it right there. He's Chance, I don't know what to say. Oh, he looked way bigger out there. Hey, I think I got one more. Are these in my pocket? Ugh, another little one. I thought he was way bigger than that when he was jumping. Oh, here he is. Oh my God. That's a big one. Dude, he's big, man. Look at him tucking. That's a good one, dude. That's a good one, right there. Dude, look how fat he is, man. Dude, that is a thick fish. All right. What's going on, guys? I'd just like to end off this video and thank you guys so much for the support. Um, yeah, I filmed a little bit when I was in Savannah, just some fish catches and stuff, so I wanted to throw it into a video and uh, just post some fishing for right now since I'm actually still at Nationals. And... Uh, don't really have too much footage that I can post so overall thank you guys for the support if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button please subscribe and hit the little bell and be sure to leave a comment below and uh, new videos every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday and I'll catch you guys in the next one
I think that 24 7 an understatement to my day to day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. Nails say I said, ain't no way. I ain't never listened, kept them at the distance. This is for the ones who ain't afraid. And this is more than some paper chase. I wonder who else can say the same. Never worry about what they attain. If I'm living, then I really can't complain. Can't contain who you really are. I know my true colors like this.